A new version of Node Controller, version 2.1, was just released, and I thought it would be better to create a new video and let you know how to use Node Controller. But what's Node Controller in the first place? So Node Controller is a tool that will help you uh, work on the nodes here for your roles. So if we take a look at this, these little dots here, they are nodes on your roles and sometimes they don't look so good. Let's take this one for example. If I open node controller here, so for me to open node controller, I'm pressing Control plus N. You can take a look at your options menu and you, you can change that. But for me, throw N, that it is. You change the icon of your cursor to this, to the node controller icon and highlight the node that you want to pick. So if you uh, click on a node, you can change how it looks. So the main feature here is that you can use this slide and make this a lot smoother. So for example, if the cars have to go into this road, they don't need to slow down as much to get in there. If this was looking like this, they will have to slow down a lot here to be able to make that curve. But if we do something like this, then they will have uh, a much better chance to go faster into that junction over there. Sometimes it just helps you make things look good. But it's not just that. You can also remove the junction markings. So if you see like crossings in here, if you press that, remove all those cross markings and that will help you as well. So again, that's not just that. You can create another crosswalk. So if you click anywhere else but the node, you will create another um, crosswalk there for pedestrians. And so they don't need to go in here. They can cross in there. As you can see, traffic is on. It will automatically set a traffic manager for you. So traffic manager is actually required for you to to have node controller enabled. And that's basically what that is. So what's new here on this new version? So now instead of waiting for the number for the offset here to show up, you have this little info. So when you slide that bar, you see the number in there. You can also type the number you want and it shows straight there. You can also have those two options here make flat and make sloped. So to show you that, we will need to go to another area here. So I've built this just to be able to show you how that looks. And for example, as you can see here, and it is like that in uh, all nodes or all uh, road junctions in City Skylines vanilla game. So you are on a slope, you add a new road and it makes this area kind of flat, not really flat, but uh, make kind of flat. So this one goes up, we have a flat area, and then you go up again. You can change this to make it sloped. So there we go. This looks much nicer now because the, the road keeps going straight up. So it doesn't have that flat area anymore. And you can also work with the corner offset here and to make it nicer and this will look as good. If we remove the junction markings, we remove just there, which is just the place that we have, there we go. And if we make it flat, then it goes flat again. So slope and flat. So this is a pretty nice addition to the node controller. But again, that's not all. So let's go maybe in here. These options that you just saw, they work when you have all the roads uh, on, the on the ground, like you have here. When you have a connection like this one, where you go from a ground connection, which is basically this one, and to an elevated connection or a bridge connection, and you select the node, you have some more options in there. You have the same option, the corner offset, which you do exactly the same thing. As you can see, you just paste that out. And in this case, we don't really need that, but let's just 
add 10 there just for the sake of uh, working on this. I'll try to get a little bit closer as well, just so you have you can have a better look at this. There we go. Now we have a node type here, and what this node type does, it actually selects a different uh, way for this connection. So if you look at the description at the bottom here, the band option linearly match segments, uh, segment widths, uh, the U-turn, so node with enough space for U-turn, and custom, which is what will be basically set here. So if I change it to bands, you see that this looks uh, quite different, and they'll try to match these roads here with this one, so the median uh, keeps going, you see the grass here, it's going straight to the segment in there, and that's what it's trying to do. And the U-turn, it will give you enough space for U-turns and automatically set U-turns over there. Or you go with custom and do what you want. And what can we do? You ask me. These are the options. So corner offset, we already saw that. The embankment, this is quite a nice option. You can turn that left or right. So you have, if you have a nice curve going around, you can make all your segments to have some embankment and they will look quite nice having this angle in here. But going back, we can, maybe I should make it a slope as well as we are here. So as you can see, the slope, it was automatically set, but you can change this around the way you wish. Uh, just feel free to do whatever you feel it's best for you. And then final one is a stretch, so you can make it fatter or uh, slimmer. So depends on what you want or how you want this looking, this will work in your favor as well. Sometimes you want this to be larger, it looks better. Sometimes you just uh, want to squeeze this uh, in between some roads and that's how uh, you do it. So if I select this other node and make it slope as well, as you can see, these go all the way sloped. But now, as you can see, you have a node here and you can actually select that. So the way you do this is if you look at here, you can Alt plus click, it selects a segment end. And if I select Alt, press Alt rather, I'll be able to select the end of the segment there. The reason why you can select this one straight is because that's not actually a node connector. So it's not connecting with another type of road or uh, another road like this one or this one. And as you can see, you can just only add cross uh, walks in here. But if I want to select that, I press Alt and select that node and I have even more options here. And to be honest, the best thing you can do is just play around. As you can see, you can change the left corner uh, the axis and you can change all that you can play around with this like at length you can make this uh, a lot better than what the game gives you and this is actually let me go back there because it's looking awful <laughs> i don't use this option much but mainly what you come here to do is probably do some, for example, some stretch or the embankment. Again, if you want to keep like this rounded and you go in there as well and to add some embankment there. And then this curve will have that embankment that you just added. So it looks better. And you can play around with that a lot. Uh, so around the, your whole city. Now for some practical applications here, let me go back to my city and you see exactly where I use a uh, node controller. So one of the great, greatest places to use it is actually on interchanges or on roundabouts like this one. As you can see, I have 25. If I set that back to zero, the cars will slow down a lot more in here. And this doesn't look quite nice. But if I go back to the 25 that I had, there you go, this looks a lot better. I just make this some, some chaos in here, but you'll figure that way out. 
and this looks much better. Another way where you can do this is actually interchange, um, not interchange, highway connections like this one, which I have, I didn't do anything here, nice. So it was looking good already, but you can make like a much smoother curve there. I think some of the places where I use it uh, might have been here, yeah, as you can see 20. So take a look how it looks without it. And it's quite like, has a bit hard turn in there. You can see the curve. And if we actually change that back to 20, you can see that it's a lot smoother and they have a lot more time to transition as it is in real life. So just a few uh, practical applications there for your uh, node controller. So I hope this helped you uh, understand how to use node controller and how to make all, uh, all, use all the features and make what you want and how you want to look at. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. And don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.